In this section, we'll be talking about domain and range of a function. So first we take two polynomial functions. The first one is a straight line, and the second one is a parabola. And we need to find the domain and the range. So these are polynomial functions, so domain will be all real numbers. So you can just say domain in interval notation will be negative infinity to positive infinity. This one also, domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. Now we'll be talking about range of these two functions. So before we go to range, we need to check the graph of the functions. So we type our function 2x minus 30 in the calculator in graphing mode. And then you need to check the window because your y-intercept here is negative 30. So if you solve for this one, you will see that your x-intercept is 15. So we need to make it a little bigger. Let me make it 20 here. And that one say maybe negative 40 or 50, doesn't matter. Let me put 60. So you can see that the graph is go going all the way from negative infinity to positive infinity. So for this straight line, your range will be negative infinity to positive infinity. For the second equation, let's make the graph of 3x squared minus 30x plus 7 in the calculator. And then let us fi fix the window with trial and error. I'm taking negative 5 to 20, and then I'm taking negative 80 to 50, but you can just play around, graph the function so you see better. Now, this is our minimum point here. Whenever looking for the range of the function, I need to see where it is minimum or from where to where it is going in y-axis. That will be range. So in this case, this one, let's try with calculator, second trace, and you can find minimum, hitting three. It's asking for the left bound. Go to the left side, hit enter. Move it to the right side for right bound. And enter one more time. So you can see it is 5 for x and y is negative 68. So we need y. So in this case, the range is negative 68 to infinity. You can test this one by hand also. Later you will see in other sections that the x-coordinate of the vertex is minus b over 2a. So our b is negative 30 here. So I put negative 30 over 2 times a is 3. And then you can see this is actually 5. That we have seen at 5, we have the minimum. And what is the y value at 5? It will be c minus b squared over 4a. Our c is 7. b is negative 30. When you square it, you get 900 over two, 4 times a. So a is 3. So that's why it is 12. And then if you simplify this one, you get negative 68, as we have seen in the calculator. So our range is negative 68 to infinity. And we are done.